Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a while since I've like sat down here and filmed a video for you guys, but I feel like the last few months have just been crazy as you guys know. I love being able to just sit down and take some time up to try on some makeup and chill out with you guys. So I'm excited to be back here today and playing around with some makeup. Please do not mind the pimples on my face. I am heading towards that time of the month and it is just a given for me. I don't know about you guys, but I'm like clockwork. Every time it's like a week or a few days out before my period, I just break out pimples and it's always in the exact same spots but anyways I received yesterday in the mail some new lipsticks and they are by Leo Cosmetics this video isn't sponsored at all or anything like that but I thought it could just be an interesting video for you guys to see me swatch them and try them on and just tell you guys what I think if I ever do sponsored videos I will always say that they are sponsored so I'm excited to try them all I haven't actually I've tried on I think two of them um, so yeah I'm excited to try them all on for you and I am actually wearing one of them right now. This was definitely the first one that I gravitated towards and I feel like this one will probably be my favorite. But this is what the packaging looks like. It's just this beautiful gold color and really sleek looking. It looks like that's like engraved into it. That's always the way I sit down to film and my neighbors start mowing their lawn. Sorry about that if you can hear it in the background. <laughs> so I'm just on the website now and it's actually called Oleo Cosmetics and the lipsticks all retail for $32 each. So the color that I'm wearing right now is called Leo and I feel like this is probably going to be my favorite. Just from looking at them all, this is kind of the color that I like to wear. It is like this beautiful, deeper nude with kind of a reddy orangey undertone. It goes on really, really creamy. The way this goes on, it really reminds me of the MAC Lusters, which I really, really like that. They kind of go on like a little bit thicker because I tend to wear like long lasting lipsticks. Um, so they don't come off like super duper easy, but they're quite pigmented still. So that is the first one there. Then the next one is Air. And this one is like a proper nude. I really like this one, but I feel like me personally, I would rather have a bit of a lip liner on with it. This one is just like a nude nude. I feel like a lot of people are going to love this one. I feel like it's an all around really easy sort of shade to just have in your handbag. It's kind of more of a pinky nude I would say. Then this next one is called Duchess and I'm actually really surprised by this one. I would say it's quite similar to the last one, maybe a fraction lighter and definitely more pinky. When I put this on it's actually so similar to my natural lip color. I feel like this with a lip liner again I would personally feel a bit more comfortable wearing it but I tend to like wearing lip liners most days anyway. But yeah I would say this is super duper close to my actual lip color. It just makes it all really nice and even, really natural looking. Again, I feel like this will be probably quite a popular one. Then next up we have the color Princess and it is just this gorgeous corally pink color. I feel like for spring and summer, this is such a gorgeous color. I'm actually really surprised by how much I like this. I saw it and I was like, eh, don't know how, how I will like it because I feel like I'm a really like deep nudes girl. Like I like my nudes and just that little bit deeper in color. And when it comes to picking colored lipsticks, I'm quite fussy with getting the right shade, but I feel like this is really pretty. It's really nice. It's not too vibrant and too out there. I feel like it is just such a beautiful girly feminine color, such a nice lipstick to wear like out to lunch or out to a nice girl's brunch. And yeah, it's really nice and bright summery spring type of color. Okay. I think this one is actually my favorite. So I was kind of leaning towards Leo at the start, but this one, here is called Royal and this is such a gorgeous shade. This is a type of shade that I like to wear day to day. I just feel really comfortable in this sort of a color. I feel like the shade is beautiful. I love the undertone. This one is hands down my favorite and yeah I feel like this will be the one that I reach for the most. This is definitely such a nice color to wear out at night time. Um, but yeah like I said I would feel comfortable personally wearing this on a day to day basis. Okay guys this has taught me how unco I am at applying lipstick without lip liner. Lip liner is like a godsend to me. <laughs> I'm definitely realizing that in this video. And this color is called Queen. And it's just this gorgeous deep red. This is definitely something that I'd wear on like a night out or a dinner day. I really feel like she has nailed it with the colors here. I feel like they're very universal. I feel like they suit a lot of different people. And she's kind of done a small range that is catered for everyone, which is really, really nice to see. The formulation of the lipsticks are beautiful. They're really comfortable to wear. They don't feel like dry or anything like that. They're really nice and creamy. I feel like you would probably need to touch up throughout the day because they're not like a long wearing lipstick, which is just kind of what you get. You get something that's a bit more comfortable to wear and you have to touch it up a bit more or you get something that's a bit more drying and doesn't feel as nice on your lips. 
that you don't have to really think about as much. Yeah, I feel like they're a beautiful formulation. She has done such a great job, like I said, at catering for everyone. And it's a small little range, but she's kind of got everything you kind of need in a little nutshell. So I feel like she's done such an amazing job. The colors are gorgeous. I actually am so surprised. I feel like every single color kind of suited me and I felt really comfortable in every single color. Probably the ones that I would wear the least would be this red, just because I don't really rock a red lipstick that often. Um, and the pinky color, but I really, really liked how the pinky color looked on. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped somebody out there that was wanting to um, have a look at getting one and didn't quite know which color to get and how they look on different people. I'm so excited to be back and I, yeah, it's so nice to be able to sit down here and relax and actually film a video for you guys. So I hope you really enjoyed it because I did. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. And I will see you guys soon.